So here's an idea for a new series, mini unit reviews. Here I review a few units that I don't think would have enough to talk about to be in a full video. So instead of having a few small videos, I figured I could just bundle them all up into one big video and talk about them here. Before we get started, let me know what you think is a unit that's simple enough to end up in one of these videos. Let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoy this video, why not give it a like and make sure to see if that subscribe button is grey. If it's red, just make sure to click it to make sure that button turns grey. Anyways, let's talk about the first unit of the video. Bullet Train is the true form of Express Cat, which is unlocked by completing Revenge of Carnage, the second stage in River Arcuron. Bullet Train is a pretty simple unit. They are the fastest unit in the game, having 85 speed, and they have the double bounty ability. Their relatively high damage against peon enemies allows the player to easily get money, especially by defeating peons such as Doge Dark. Their damage is also high enough to work as a good form of burst damage against several enemies since they are almost always going to land a hit before dying thanks to their high speed. One thing to note is that they don't actually have any TBA, so against enemies with knockback, such as Slepner, they can deal a lot more damage. Their combos are mid at best since a worker cat max up with salaryman cat isn't all that great and the combo with cameraman is just a cannon startup small, which can be done with more effective units. The main negative with this unit is that survivability is pretty bad. It doesn't get knocked back until it dies, and it has a pretty long backswing so they can easily get swarmed and usually won't land more than one hit before dying. For this reason, the best way to get the most out of Bullet Train is to use it against low HP peons or to secure needed damage against stronger enemies. You can also use Bullet Train to get inside an LD enemy's blind spot and deal some damage there. I don't have much else to say about Bullet Train. They're a solid unit that can be used to gain needed cash or to punch strong enemies. Next unit. Prisoner Cat is the true form of the January Monthly Unit, Adult Cat. The true form changes Adult Cat from a garbage unit to a unit that actually has some niches in some levels because of one change. This being the 355 range increase that it gets along with LD piercing in exchange for having a 4.7 times longer recharge time. This makes Prisoner Cat have one of the highest standing ranges in the game for a non-Uber Rare, with only Lil Neandam, Filibuster, Sniper, and Cyberpunk having a higher standing range. This huge increase in standing range allows them to be used in stages where LD piercing is super useful, such as stages featuring Professor A or used in piercing backliner enemies, such as Dark Emperor Neandum in stages like Unjust War. However, their negatives become apparent when looking at raw stats. Its survivability outside of red enemies is pretty garbage, only being able to have about 15,000 health at level 50 and its damage isn't too great either. However, those numbers wouldn't be so bad if it were for one glaring issue. Their almost 30 second recharge time makes them incredibly hard to stack. If any sort of push happens, you only get one more shot to keep them alive because of their lackluster health. Another issue that they have is that they're a single target unit, meaning if a stage has a ton of peons or few backliners, it's hard for them to nail an enemy with their shovel. Their speed, while it might sound like a negative since they only have a speed of 5, it is to their benefit as it can ensure that you have at least one or two on the field as it takes them a short while to get to the front lines and their speed isn't unusable like Professor Cat Jobs outside of their true form. The main place that they can shine in is in 4 star stories of legend thanks to them being one of the only backliners available that are not a legend unit. However, their stats do fall off quite a bit once you hit uncanny legends due to several enemies being able to one shot it and the low damage potential does hurt it a lot. It still does have a few uses in Uncanny Legends, but outside of certain niche scenarios, you probably won't be using them for Uncanny Legends. In short, Prisoner could be a super useful unit where you need as much range as you can get and is a great option for enemies like Professor A with the Stepping Stone thanks to their LD, but its low stats aren't cut for the end game and usually fall off quickly. For the final unit of this video, I'm going to be talking about Heavy Assault CAT. Now since CAT has talents, I will cover both untalented and talented versions. Untalented CAT is meant to be a crowd control unit thanks to their weakened ability. However, their high cost and low activation chance along with their low range puts them into a situation where it'd be better to use a unit like Thaumaturge despite being a single target unit because of their high standing range. Most of the time, you would just be better off using Cat Gain simply because the only difference between the two is that CAT is 5 speeds slower and that they have their weakened ability where in most situations it isn't really needed. This changes when you add CAT's talents into the equation. CAT's main talent is their massive damage ability against black enemies. 
Getting this talent alone allows CAT to deal some good damage against black enemies, as it takes its bad 5,000 damage to a decent 20,000 damage with just one talent investment. However, that high cost still makes it better to use units like Pizza, because Pizza has the health and damage that CTA doesn't. However, this changes quite a bit when you max out your CAT, as now at level 30, they can now deal 36,000 damage against black enemies. Since most black enemies have a low range, you can use CAT to deal some major damage on the field. CAT's health talents also allow them to reliably use their rebound ability since they lack a TBA. They also have a near instant attack, meaning that you can use CAT to deal immediate damage in a situation that Pizza might not have enough time for. Despite only being 2 times faster in Force Swing than Pizza, black enemies tend to have a really high attack rate and being able to damage them in an instant sometimes makes the difference between surviving and losing. Not to mention that they have a slightly lower attack frequency than Pizza, meaning that they can attack again shortly before Pizza does. However, I must make one thing clear. Pizza is recommended a lot more than CAT due to not leading loads of investment in comparison. Pizza is also a lot more sustainable because they have much higher base stats and they have a higher range than CAT. So you might ask yourself, what is the best way to use CAT? Well, the best way to look at it is by treating it as a pocket Yukimura. Yukimura has higher stats than CAT, but has a much higher cost. Because of this, CAT can work as a miniature version of Yukimura in situations where you need cheap and immediate damage. Since CAT also has about an 8 times faster recharge rate than Yukimura for about a third of the price, it isn't as big of a deal if you mess up timing CAT compared to Yukimura. Also, CAT's weakening can be a good bonus in allowing CAT to stay on the field for a longer period of time. While CAT is slower compared to Yukimura, this doesn't matter as much as CAT can just as easily rush to the front lines. However, you should only do this for black enemies since CAT's attack is too low for them to do a whole lot outside of that. That being said, CAT is one of the best replacements for Yukimura and 4 star sages due to CAT having stats that are good enough for stories of legend standards. In Uncanny Legends, its usage is more so restricted to rushing down enemies, but their stats at level 50 do hold up well with the power level and UL against black enemies. The slow resist isn't needed all that much due to not many stages having black enemies paired with slowers. The only stage that comes to my mind where it could be useful is in Wager of Honor thanks to the presence of Crokley and a decent amount of Raging Gories. Weaken ability is not needed at all for CAT due to the only black enemy that can weaken is Variety Bears, but they don't really count, and most weakened enemies can outrange CAT anyways. These two talents are way too situational to be worth the investment. Since it does have talents, I of course have a talent ranking for CAT. Massive damage is a 4 out of 5, as this singular talent alone makes CAT a useful attacker against black enemies, and I suggest getting this one first before any other talent for CAT due to the immediate difference in results. Attack is also a 4 out of 5 due to this exponentially increasing their damage output against any enemy they come across, especially against black enemies. HP talents are a 3 out of 5, as while they are a significant boost to CAT's ability to stay alive on the field, it isn't as important as the damage related talents due to their fast recharge rate and you won't get too many results until you dub quite a few talent levels to show major results. I'd say get the HP talents either after or alongside your attack talents. Both the slow resist and weakened immunity talents are a 1 out of 5. These talents are way too situational to be useful and you are much better off spending your NP elsewhere. So, this has been the first episode of Mini Unit Reviews. If you think that this series is something you would enjoy, then let me know in the comments down below so I know to make more of these. Speaking of enjoying things, if you enjoyed this video, then why not give it a like as it's another way to show that this is the type of content and something you're interested in. Also while you're down there, make sure that subscribe button is grey and if it isn't, then click on it to make it go from red to grey as this helps me out in the long run. Anyways, I hope you have a wonderful day.